Hey guys, wanted to show you how to fly hooks and stack vocals in Pro Tools. So first thing you want to do is get your song on the grid. If you don't know how to do that, check out my previous video linked in the description. Then we're just going to find the choruses So let's, and drop some markers by pressing the Enter key on the 9 key on the bottom right of your keyboard. So here we go, let's listen. That's our first hook. Uh, second one probably comes after this break here. All right, so now we have our two hooks set up on the grid here. And now we're gonna stack some vocals. See how this is on input so that you can hear your artist talking to you whenever you're playing back. And also their track can be in the center and loud where all the tracks that will play back the hook will be spread stereo and sent to some reverbs and delays and all that kind of stuff. So we'll just pretend that we're gonna record the hook here. You might wanna set up some pre-roll for your artist. Let's say two bars. So we go to uh, right before the hook here and let's uh, punch in. Your artist would be singing and you'd be stacking your hook. And then you'd say, all right, let's uh, double it. You'd hit X, as long as your A to Z keys are on up here. You'd hit X, colon to go down, V to paste, and then you would double it. Here's my double track here. Your artist would be singing. Oh yeah. And then you'd be stacking your hook. So you just keep that process going. X colon colon V to paste. Now you would quad it. You might stack it up with a bunch of harmonies. I have a, a hook here stored on an alternate playlist. It's just me joking around. And so here's how we actually fly the hook once it's stacked up. You want to make sure that you're on the one bar grid. And then you're going to select these tracks from the downbeat of this hook to the downbeat of your next hook and you just hit Command D for duplicate. Simple as that. And now you have this hook that played here, here again. This is how you fly a hook. This is the way. Simple as that. Sometimes there's an alternate method that people do if you have audio in here that you don't want to duplicate over that could cause a problem is that you would select this and then hit Option Apple G to make a group. Then you can click the grabber tool, click Option, and just slide this over. As long as you're on the grid, should be in the right spot. So there, that's another method. There's always a lot of ways. Well, I hope this tutorial helps you uh, fly hooks faster. Take care.